Okay, Mike with Desert Knight CDL School and cab inspection. All right, we're gonna start with the seat belt. It's properly mounted secure. It's not torn or frayed, and it locks and unlocks properly. Okay, go with the windshield. It's properly mounted secure. It's not cracked, no legal stickers, and the, w the windshield seal. There's no dry rot, properly mounted and secure. My dash to my floorboard, clean and free of any obstacles. Okay, we'll go with the mirrors. They're properly mounted and secure. They're adjusted to me. I can see 200 feet beyond my tractor and trailer. There's no illegal stickers on there. Okay, now I'm about to perform a safe start. What I'm looking for is my ABS light to come on and come off within the first five seconds and for me to build oil pressure within that first five seconds. Safe start. Okay. ABS light came on, came off within the first five seconds and I'm building oil pressure within that first five seconds also. Okay, we'll go with my gauges. My oil should be between 20 and 60. Right now it's at 45 right now. My water temperature should be between 175, 190, never over 210. It's at 150 and rising. My voltmeter should be between 12 and 14. It's at 14 right now. My fuel tank is at a half a tank of fuel. My primary, secondary air should be between 110 and 120, never over 130. It's at 100 and rising right now. Okay. Go with my panel lights. My left turn signal working properly. My right turn signal is working properly. My high beams working properly. And also my four ways. We have my windshield wipers and blade. Property mount secure. Have good tension to the windows. There's not dry rotting. Working, functional. And we have fluid coming out. Awesome. My city horn, my fox working properly. Right now we're listening, we're gonna wait for my first blowout. It should be between 110 and 120, never 130. Almost there. There we go. Before I forget, let me get my heater and the frost. It's working properly also. Okay. I'm going to perform a brake test for you, foot brake test. This is simulate. I'm going to get my speed up to about five miles per hour. First, I will release my tractor and trailer brakes. Put it in drive with my hands gently on the steering wheel. Get my speed up to about five miles per hour. Push down on my foot brake. If my tractor and trailer goes to the left or to the right, um, I will take it out of service. It's probably a slack that need adjusting. Okay. One of the brake tests. Another one, I'm gonna do my tractor trailer brake test, tug test for you. I'm gonna release my tractor brakes to test my trailer brakes. Okay, slight tug. Okay, that was a successful test. Now I'm gonna release my trailer brakes to test my tractor brakes. Okay, that was a successful test. My tractor trailer brake test. Okay, um, now we're gonna let the air build back up to 110, 120, never over 130. Right now we're about at 100. Let me give it a little throttle to speed up the process. Release my tractor and trailer brakes, put the key in the on position, let my gauges settle.
Okay, now that my gauges have settled, I'm gonna perform another test for you. Okay, I'm applying 90 pounds of pressure to the foot brake and I cannot lose more than four PSI in one minute. Okay, here we go. Okay, a minute has passed and I, there was no loss in that one minute. Okay, now that was a successful test. Now we're gonna do my low air pressure warning and buzzer light test. I'm gonna fan my brakes down to about 60 PSI and my low air pressure warning and buzzer light should come on at 60 PSI. There we go. Okay, there we go. My low air pressure warning buzzer light did come on at 60 PSI. Now it's the tractor trailer pop out valve test. 40 for my tra trailer, 20 for my tractor. Together, okay. Never tractor before trailer. Now I'm gonna continue fanning down and that's when my uh, pop out valve should pop out at. Okay, there you have it. Both of my valves popped out at 30 PSI. Now that concludes my pre-trip.